Hello guys, today on this channel I will start a mini-series of 5 videos that I called what's new in Laravel 9 and 10 versions for the last couple of years. So I've been looking at my videos on this YouTube channel from 3 years ago or 4 years ago, believe it or not that channel is pretty old already, and I thought to reshoot some of them, but apparently there's nothing really fundamentally new in Laravel since Laravel 8 and in some functions since Laravel 7 or 6 or even earlier. Fundamentals are very stable, which is great. So what Laravel does, in addition to new extra tools like Folio Vault and others this year, they add a lot of small-ish improvements to existing features. You may have missed them, especially if you don't work on the latest versions of Laravel, and if you're not watching my channel daily because I talk about those news quite often. Anyway, in this video I will show you four new features related to migrations in Laravel. By new I mean again in Laravel 9 and 10. And later this week we'll talk about routing, enums and other topics in Laravel 9 or 10. So migrations, what's new? And I will show you those features based on pull requests on GitHub. And this is the first one. In Laravel 9, so almost one and a half years ago in 2022, this feature was released. So not sure if you're aware actually. In migrations, you may check that schema already has column or has table to avoid the situation where the migration is trying to run but the field already exists for whatever reason. Maybe it was added manually or something like that. So this existed before Laravel 9 and what was added in Laravel 9 is a shorter syntax for that. So schema, when table doesn't have column, add that column. And the opposite, when table has column, then drop the column. So this is a small but important feature in Laravel 9. A next new quite big feature by James Brooks from the official Laravel team member. It was released in Laravel 9 in August 2022. Three artisan commands DB show, which would show something like this, the main information about your database. And also there's DB table, and that's why it's related to migration. So you would see the database schema even after multiple migrations, which often happens. In migrations, you have 100 files, and you don't have the one file to check the structure except for SQL client. So now you can do that in artisan command and not only columns, it will also include index. So this is also available in Laravel 9. The third important feature of migrations I wanted to show you is by Dries Vince, who released in Laravel 9 support for UUIDs and ULIDs as primary keys instead of ID. So this pull request doesn't contain all the information, but in the official docs, you may see something like this. So you add has UUIDs and that's it. So part of that feature is a change in the model, but in the migration, you may have table UUID instead of ID. And I also have a separate video on how that works and I will link that in the description below. The final new feature that I wanted to show you is in Laravel 9, but it was finished in Laravel 10 with another pull request, is dropping the requirements to have Doctrine DBAL package if you want to change the column, rename the column, or drop a column. It's a pretty huge pull request by Havas Devandari because it needed to work on all the databases supported by Laravel, and I actually reviewed this change in a separate video, and I can also link that in the description below. But basically, you don't need that package anymore in Laravel if you want to have change or remove the column. So yeah, these are the four features I found recently new in Laravel migrations. Would you add anything else important for you that I've missed in recent Laravel 9 or 10? Add them in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.